We're just freestyle chefs. We, we kind of made our own lane where we just go all off of the soul and the feeling of what we're doing. What's up, food beast? It is Reach. We are here out in Carson, California at Three Stacks Kitchen. We're linking up with the owner, James. He's about to break it down how good and delicious these loaded southern plates are and maybe even put us onto some secret menu items. Check it out. I'm chef owner James Posey of Three Stacks Kitchen. We do a southern like low country boil, these loaded southern plates. It was literally just me going in and putting some ingredients together and just kind of playing around. It was one of those things, I just made some sauce. I had never made garlic butter before. I put some meat ingredients together, put a little love in there, um, drizzled it over the seafood with the proper garnishment and people were like, yo, what is that? Is that for sale? Where did you get that? And I'm like, I mean, it can be, you know what I mean? So it was uh, it was one of those things where when people got interested in it, I was like, all right, well, how do we turn this picture into a business? I just kind of looked from afar and then I was like, all right, well, let me go downtown and buy some grills, dude. I've seen everybody else do it. We went and pretty much the rest is history. We got their loaded Southern plates. And these plates are loaded with crab legs, shrimp, lobster on a bed of steamed rice with some corn, drizzled in a garlic butter sauce. And this is their naked version. It is covered in their secret blend of spices. So we're gonna try everything that's on this plate today. So here we have the lobster tail. I'm just gonna get in with my hands here. Ooh, look at that. Mm, that is so good. It has so much flavor. You can really taste the blend of the seasoning and the herbs that he puts on there. And let's try one of the garlic butter shrimp here. Wow, so good. Yeah. Oop, I'm an expert. I, I've been I've been training my whole life for this. <laughs> and believe it or not, there's rice under here with some sausage. Look at that. So good. We're influenced a lot by like the Latin culture. So I grew up eating a lot of like taco trucks and going to quinceaneras, eating menudo and pozole. Like so I'm I'm heavy on that. And the southern food and the thing that those two things share is that they're both soul food for the culture. You know what I mean? And they're big on flavor. So that's something that influenced me a lot. It was just one of those things where growing up I was always like into cooking and things like that, but none of the schools and stuff that I, I went to had a culinary arts program or any like home ec or anything like that. Coming up and seeing like the Taco Mills, Blue Kitchens, All Flavor, and, and Chefy Double, who's like the godfather of everybody out here in the, uh, the cooking games. But just seeing all these different people pursue entrepreneurship who look like me was one of those inspiring things. My grandmother did this in the South uh, in an impossible time. With me knowing that like cooking was something that was in my blood, I kind of felt like, uh, why shouldn't I take the risk? You know what I mean? To be able to inspire uh, other people who look like me and who don't look like me, just to be able to bring us all together with something that we share in common with that being good food. I have a couple of people came to Las Vegas from Carson, California, and they told me about Stacks. So um, I got in town last night, and here I am, you know, this afternoon to check out this restaurant and see what the food is about. I heard it's very good. And once you come one, at one time, you gotta come back. They give you a large amount of food. So for the price, the quality and the quantity is great. We started out of the driveway. It was South Central Los Angeles, honestly. It's one of the places where like the legendary freeway Ricky Ross had set up like some of his shop there, you know what I mean? From the original, you know, like block and stuff. And it was one of the places where kind of like ground zero where crack cocaine and stuff had hit in the inner cities. With me knowing that and growing up in that and always seeing like all the different gang violence and different things like that, it was me just wanting to change the narrative uh, for such a historical uh, location and such a historical city for one. And then coming up behind uh, people like the late great Nipsey Hustle and stuff like that, um, influencing the younger generation and the culture to, to push forward, you know, strive for like entrepreneurship and finding your own voice, you know what I mean? Not just necessarily doing something like, oh, be a rapper like me, or just getting into real estate, getting into cooking and things like that. The name Three Stacks Kitchen came about because I started this four years ago when my son was born and he subsequently is the third, so he's James the third. So it was one of those things like, what could I do for my kid? What could I do for my family? And so it's just something I wanted to do 
to kind of like leave my mark um, and, and to give my son something else to look up to other than like, you know, hooping or rapping or something like that. All right, so what we got here is three stacks secret menu items. Right here is a burrito called the Fresh Prince and it is massive. What was crazy about it, it has deep fried lobster and Philly cheesesteak all up in it. That sauce, the sauce makes the world go round. No more talking, let's just get in there. Mm. Bro, that's fire. You had the, the crunch from the deep fried lobster and with the hit of the tender, juicy cheesesteak meat, cheese sauce all up in there. It is a whole situation and I'm enjoying it. All right, next up is the garlic noodles with the salmon all up on top. Presented very nicely on this very aesthetic skillet. And I am always here for all the nudes, especially if it's flavored in garlic. Garlic is just everywhere, permeating all up in it. Mad flavor. Now you gotta hit with the, the salmon and just level up this bite. See how flaky and tender that salmon just keeps falling. By the look of it, I already said it was tender and flaky, but actually tasting it, it's even better. Four years later, we have two locations in a food truck and an unlimited amount of ideas and concepts in my head that I'm currently working on now. My goal, like I said, for me, uh, when we were talking, was just to become uh, a Michelin star chef and to, to be able to give a Michelin star um, experience to the people, whether they're spending top dollar or not, really. It's all about the experience. I wanna have like a seafood restaurant on the beach where you're just getting it straight off the boat over the wood fire and straight to your plate. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's really just all about the experience and taking it to the next level so that we don't get bored with it. Putting pure passion and integrity and intent behind the food and then just having a true love for it. I'm pretty much on a mission just to inspire, dude. Uh, just to be able to do everything that's that's in my head and, and put it all here and bring it all to reality so we don't take anything to the grave with us, you know what I mean? wraps up here at Three Stacks Kitchen in Carson, California. We caught up with James, we chopped it up about his big vision about taking this brand global, inspiring others to look into entrepreneurship, just owning the brand and making their dreams happen and come true. Out here, he's serving up good vibes and good food to his community. That's what it's all about. Mm.